Today's Gospel, Peter, Andrew, James, and John heard the call of the Lord, and they left everything and followed Him. They were not the kind of people whom anybody would suspect being religious. They were common, everyday people. They were not the kind of people whom anybody could suspect, could convince others, or take the position of a leadership. They were fishermen, but they were called, and they responded, and God worked His wonderful deeds through them. Also, they were difficult to teach in the ways of the Lord, but they did learn, and as a result, we are here, members of the Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. Of course, the disciples had our Lord Jesus Christ with them, and the Holy Spirit transformed their lives. And if we allow Him to do the same with each one of us, He will do it without hesitation. This Sunday, I feel it is just the time for me to preach about the vocation to the priesthood and religious life. And I wish I could find a way to communicate to you, and in particular to our young people, my feelings about the priesthood and the religious life. But I can tell you, for me, to be a priest is a blessing in my life. It's a blessing for my family and friends, for my community, and for all of those that I have the opportunity to meet in my daily days. And it's a, and it's a truly blessing and a true manifestation of the love of God. And I know I am not worthy of it. But God loves is extremely generous that here I am, and I am so happy to share with all of you this blessing of God to me, the blessing to be a disciple of the Lord, and how this is style of life, the style of life of our Lord Jesus Christ. These are a few things that we do in our daily days. We meditate the Holy Scriptures, and we are called to pray every day. We prepare homilies, and sometimes we need a break from preaching like you, who sometimes need a break from our preaching. But it is a wonderful life to be obligated to spend so much time with the Word of God. We are called in emergency situations to bring hope to the people when the doctors and the learned cannot do anything else. Then there is the Mass, the most beautiful miracle in the world, because God allows a human being to act in his person and recreate the offering of his Son at the Last Supper and it's happened every time when the priest celebrates the Mass. And as you know, the priest acts in person of Jesus, in persona Christi, by the virtue of the call of Christ and the action of the Holy Spirit. No action 
of a person's life can be greater than acting in the person of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, no one should feel discouraged from being a priest or a sister because doesn't feel worthy enough who is. And no one should be deprived of the opportunity to become a priest or a sister because relatives want something else from them. To discourage a vocation is to discourage a person from entering into the style of life of Jesus. To discourage a vocation is to deny others the opportunity of receive our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, there was a time not that long ago when the people felt obligated to provide priests and sisters from their family for the future of the church. I don't believe that we need to go back to those days, but we do need to embrace the Christian Catholic attitudes that motivated the people to seek among themselves those who would be open to the call of the Lord and encourage them to follow Him. This Sunday, let us pray for vocations to the priesthood and religious life. May more and more of our young men and women receive the call of the Lord. May they follow Him and may they allow the Spirit of the Lord to work through them. Amen.